So as you saw, the merge drawing mode is pretty frustrating and pretty out of this world, pretty bizarre. I wanna show you the object drawing mode, which you already know how to use because the object drawing mode behaves like every other graphics program I've ever encountered anyway. It behaves exactly like Illustrator. What I mean by that is with the object drawing mode turned on inside Flash, Flash will create our different shapes as individual objects and it'll prevent them from interfering with one another. In other words, no cutting, no separate fills, no separate strokes, all these extra objects, none of that stuff. So the trick though, of course, is remembering to turn it on. <laughs> but once it's turned on, it's gonna be turned on forever for all of your tools. It'll always be turned on until you go and turn it off. So you may as well just turn it on and forget about it and then we can all just <laughs> live happier lives. So here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna demonstrate this for you. I'm gonna go and grab one of my shape tools. It doesn't really matter which shape tool you choose. I'm gonna stick with my rectangle tool. You can go and change your fill and your stroke if you want. You know, no big deal, right? I'm gonna go with maybe an orange fill this time. Now, I did point this out way back when. I can't remember exactly when I had pointed it out. But the options area down at the bottom of the toolbox, the very first guy, object drawing, go ahead and turn them on. Or you can just tap your J key on your keyboard and that'll do the job for you as well. Okay. And once again, I got to stress, now that we've turned this guy on for the rectangle tool, he's turned on for all the other tools. So we don't need to worry about constantly turning them on. Okay. Now check this out. I'm going to go ahead and lay down a quick rectangle, something like this. Notice that we have a thin frame now surrounding the object. I'm gonna go and grab my black arrow tool, my black selection tool, and I'll try clicking on the fill. Notice that there's no dotted pattern. I drag on the fill and the stroke goes with it. In other words, just like Illustrator, just like all of our other graphics programs. If I go back to my rectangle tool, and I go and draw another rectangle on top of this object, maybe something like, there we go, if I can snag a fill color, maybe something like this. And now I go back and I start moving my shapes around. They're separate independent objects. So why isn't Flash's object drawing mode the default drawing mode? I have no idea. I really wish I had a good answer for you. But anyway, this is what we're getting now. Even if I wind up with two shapes, that are exactly the same fill. Actually, let me do this. I'm gonna get rid of that. And what I'll do is I'll toast my stroke there. So we're just getting fills, something like this. There, we saw this earlier with the two red circles. We saw them merge together, right? Looks the same here on screen, but I can still move them apart, okay? This is what object drawing is all about, okay? So I much prefer object drawing. The last thing that I wanna say here about object drawing, because there really isn't much to say, because again, we all know how to work with this stuff already, right? It's all pretty straightforward stuff. Give me just a second here. I'm gonna go and change my fill and my stroke colors here. When I lay down an object, whether it's a rectangle or you know an oval or whatever it is that I decide to create here on Flash's stage, what the object drawing mode is doing is it's taking that separate fill and separate stroke, and it's actually grouping them together, which is pretty bizarre stuff. Later on, we're gonna talk about grouping shapes and grouping objects and ungrouping and breaking apart and all this great stuff. And I'll be sure to come back to this idea of the object drawing mode, and I'll show you exactly what the object drawing mode is doing. But for now, we can remain blissfully unaware and completely content that now Flash is behaving like all of our other graphics applications.